Hello there, my name's Dr. Jake Newman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the solid state drive or memory on your Mac, be it a MacBook Pro or a Mac Pro or whatever. So there are plenty of guides out there that show you how to physically replace the solid state drive in your Mac, for instance, but a hard part is also knowing which solid state drive and RAM to buy in the first place, and that is the purpose of this video. So you can see here, I'm on the website www.macsales.com, which is a company owned by Otherworld Computing, and they specialize in upgrades, solid state drives, memory, that sort of thing, for Macs. And this is a great website, offering international shipping, a great selection of products, and fantastic aftercare. Now, I'm not being paid to do this video. I have ordered from them in the past, and I was very impressed by their service. I'll leave a link to them down below in case you want to check them out for yourself. And if you've got any questions about upgrading your solid state drive or memory, do leave them down below, and either me or other viewers of this video will hopefully help you out. So, say you've got a mid-2014 MacBook Pro Retina and you want to upgrade the default solid state drive from 128GB to a larger capacity, say 256 How would you find out which drive you actually need? So let's click on the solid state drives menu and you can see, as it says, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee and it says free install video, so there are guides all over the internet but it's great that they're just here for you on their website and it says free shipping on all SSDs, and it really is the best website for Mac SSDs, as I said, that I have ever found. So I've got a MacBook Pro, so I'm going to click on the MacBook Pro icon, and we're confronted with a series of options, different years and model numbers for different MacBook Pros. So for example, MacBook Pro, Retina, 13 and 15 inch, late 2013 to mid 2015. So how do I know which Mac I've actually got? Well, if I click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner of the screen and click about this Mac, you can see that I've got a MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch mid 2014. So if we go back to the Mac sales website, it looks like that's the first one here because that's between late 2013 and mid 2015. So that does look like the one I need, but I'm not 100% certain and there is something else we can check and that is the model ID. So again, if we go to the about menu and click on system report, you can see that the model identifier of my Mac is a MacBook Pro 11 comma one. So let's go back to macsales.com again you can see that it's listed there as a model ID for this first listing. So this is the solid state drive that I need for my Mac. And you can see on these other listings here that we've got different model identifiers and different years, so they might be the ones that you need. So you might notice that there aren't any MacBooks here older than 2015. That's because apparently, although it might be technically possible to upgrade the solid state drives in something newer than 2015, no companies manufacture drives that are fast enough and it's really technically very difficult. So I think these companies are sort of just deciding to not show you how to do it. So you can only upgrade the solid state drives on MacBook Pros up to mid 2015. So anyway, let's click on this first listing and take a look at it. Again, it says all of the features of buying from MacSales.com and we have all the model numbers again, so you can just double check and make sure you're getting the right one. And then we go down to the actual capacities and you can see they have 240, 480 and a terabyte, which is a significant increase on the default 128 gigs. So we've got this thing called the upgrade kit listed here, which includes screwdrivers. I highly recommend you get this. If you use the wrong screwdrivers, you will shear the screws and you'll spend hours trying to get the screws out. And then you may not even get the screws back in again once you've installed the solid state drive. So just use the right screwdrivers. And Mac sales do provide videos to guide you through the process of installing your drive. There are other guides online. And indeed I made a video actually showing you how to install this very drive in your MacBook Pro Retina and I'll leave a link to that down below in case you need it. So you may also want to upgrade the memory on your Mac. So let's click on memory and scroll down and again I've got a MacBook Pro so I'll click on that. You might notice that the uh, oldest Mac listed here is 2012 and the model number only goes up to 92. So why is that? Well you can't actually upgrade the memory on a Mac newer than that unfortunately. Certainly, if you've got a 2012 or older MacBook Pro, then yes, you can upgrade. 
But let's say I've got a 2012 MacBook Pro. Let's click on that and have a look at the upgrade options. You can see that it goes from 4 to 16 gigabytes. So there are several options available for upgrading the memory. But say that your Mac is just getting on a bit and you just want to replace it, but you don't want to spend the full price buying it from Apple. Well, MacSales.com does actually have a range of used Macs. So let's click on that. And you can see they've got the full range of Apple products here, Mac Minis through to MacBook Pros and everything. So that's another option if you don't just want to upgrade the memory or solid state drive. Well, I hope this video has been of some help to you. Again, I'll leave a link to MacSales.com down below in case you want to check it out. If you've got any questions about upgrading your solid state drive or memory, leave them down below. Either me or another viewer will uh, comment on it. And uh, I'll see you next time for another video.